Now let's continue working on geometric series and we're adding up the first seven terms of both series. And we're going to be using this formula. Sn is just a times 1 minus r to the power of n all over 1 minus r. Over here our a is 12 which is the first term. Our r will be half because that's 6 over 12. Half. Great. Okay, and n is just 7 because we want to find the sum of the first seven terms. So now let's plug things into the formula. So we get 12 times 1 minus half. I like to have the fractions in brackets when, I'm, when r is a fraction. To the power of 7. Maybe we needed a square brackets here, but I guess that's fine. Hopefully no one will get mad at me for that. And um, great. Now over here we're going to get I have a feeling I'm going to uh, soon run out of room, but that's okay. So I have the 12 times 1 minus. Now half to the power of 7. 1 to the 7 is just 1. 2 to the power of 7 is 128, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully I'm not mistaken. And 1 minus half is just half. Great. Now I'm going to simplify things. 12 divided by half is 24. Because once you divide by half, you can also multiply by 2. Same thing. So 12 times 2, 24. So here we have 24. And 1 minus 128. Well, what I like to do here is just get a common denominator. 1 um, over 1, right? The common denominator will be 128, so you can multiply 1 over 1 by 128 over 128. So be subtracting 1 and all over 128, and we're going to end up with 24 times 127 all over 128. It's getting a little bit messy already. Sorry about that. Create a dividing line here. And okay, so now let's just do this operation. 24 times 127 all over 128. We'll simplify to 381 over 16. In other words, in decimals, we would have 23. 8125. And that's it. That is the sum of the first seven terms. Now let's do question number four. Same formula, right? We're going to be doing S7 is equal to now A is 90 times 1 minus. What is R? R will be 1 third because we can just take the 30 divided by 90. So I'll just do it uh, here in the down at the bottom. So whoops, I meant the opposite. I meant 30 over 90. 3 over 9, so one third. So that is R. Again, I want it in brackets because it's going to make things simpler for us. Again, we just want to find the sum of the first seven terms. So I'll leave the seven over there. And we have 1 minus 1 third down at the bottom. Great. So here we have 90 times 1 minus 1 over 3 to the 7. That makes me more. Okay, let's make that better. That was slightly better than before. 1 minus 1 third is just 2 thirds. And now what I like to do is just always. I'm dividing a fraction, I can just flip and multiply. So I just have 90 times 3 over 2. Right, because I just took the 3, the 2 over 3, and I made it 3 over 2, multiplying by 90, times 1 minus 1 over 3 to the power of 7. Great, so 90 over 2 is just 45. 45 times 3 
it's 135 multiplied by 1 minus 1 over 3 to the 7. Now let me just quickly plug that into the calculator to see what we're going to ultimately get. And it won't be anything too nice. <laughs> It'll end up being 134.938 and continues. I'm just going to leave it like that. If we want a fraction out of this, it won't be a nice number. It would be 10,930 all over 81. That's it. So that is the sum of the first seven terms for question four.